This is another setup to demonstrate a logic table. Now, inside the Rattler device over here, it has the capability of doing local logic. And what that means is that you can associate the action of outputs with input. So for example, you might have switches for levels or valve positions and things like that. And you might have a, an analog input, and this represents a flow rate of uh, instrument, which has a 4 to 20 milliamp output. And then based on uh, these inputs, you can set up logic to control the outputs. And so what we've shown here, the 4 to 20 milliamp, this is the frequency output. And so what this does is that it sees that you could drive the speed of a pump or position of a flow gate or something like that based on an input. If this, then that, you can set up general rules like ladder logic in a PLC of being able to associate really any kind of parameter. So what we have here is a setup that we'll see that the flow rate is low. In other words, this is running at 8 milliamps as the uh, output, and this is running at 18 milliamps, which is a high flow rate. If I re reduce this, we'll see that the pump speed would change, and the, the way this is set up is the flow is low, the pump speed is high, the flow is high, the pump speed is low. And this logic table has been set up with hysteresis to make sure that the, you don't get uh, bounce around the thresholds. When I reduce this, the speed of the, the pump increases until you get it really low, and now it's running at 20 milliamps. What we have is these values and this change is posted to Glance. It's called Intelligent Data Push, and what that does is if the values of the motors or the instruments change, that value is pushed to Glance. So what you can do is you can look on your phone, we'll look at the device list over here, and we'll be able to see that this is a, a device that's called oil and gas, and what we'll see, these parameters, so uh, this instrument over here shows that the pump is running at 100%, and here on Glance it shows that the pump is running at 100%. Now what I can do is I can change the instrument to say that the flow rate is increased, the tank is filled, the level is higher, whatever the case may be, make the flow rate really high, to see that the pump is now running much slower. We'll get a second or two to send that information up to Glance, and we can have a look at our browser, refresh our browser, now you can see that the pump speed is running at 25% uh, and that the flow rate has gone up to 691 gallons per minute and that's coming out of this instrument. Again, I can make the flow rate reduce. I can refresh uh, the browser. You can see this last checked in 15 seconds ago. The pump is now running at 75 hertz, and that the flow rate has dropped to 214 gallons per minute. All of this is using logic table of combining the inputs with the outputs. So this doesn't require connectivity. This will be instantaneous uh, when it's out in the field, and uh, generalized logic can be implemented to achieve any of the desired effects.